Hi, my name is Steve Hullfish. I'm the author of The Art and Technique of Digital Color Correction and Color Correction for Video. One of the color grading tasks that takes some real experience and skill to deal with is matching scenes. Lots of footage from dramatic TV shows, indie features, and even corporate and marketing projects involves making two shots in a scene look like they belong together even if they were shot by different cameras or at different times of day. Tektronix waveform monitors have a fantastic feature that makes this common but difficult task much easier. Normally, colorists will save a still of one image that they're trying to match and will then cut rapidly back and forth between the reference scene and the scene that they're correcting. This is the time-tested method used by most of the colorists I've interviewed over the years. With a Tektronix waveform monitor, though, let me show you an amazing little trick that will save you tons of time and will get your footage to match very quickly with much less effort. For our example, we're going to try to match these two shots of me playing the piano. Just be thankful that there's no audio on here. One of these is color corrected fairly faithfully, maybe a little warm, and the other is Miss White balanced towards blue. Whenever I try to match two shots, I pick the shot closest to the one that I want to see and correct it to where I want it. There's no sense taking the bluish shot too warm, for example, if I really want to back off on some of the warmth in the original shot anyway. So we'll set a nice, rich black and spread our tonal range a bit. I always take my corrections a little bit past where I want them and then come back to the sweet spot. It's a little bit like focusing a camera. You don't really know if it's in focus until you've focused a little too close and a little too far first. With the outer limits of my tonal range set, I'll play with the gamma or mid-tones of the image to create a nice, rich, well-exposed look. Now let's play a little with the balance. The image is a little warm. You can see that by the elevated levels in the red channel compared to the others. You can also see it in the vector scope. You can even see this balance in the diamond display. If the bottom diamond leans towards the right with this red indicator here, then the image is warm. To the right on the top diamond indicates a blue balance. We'll back off that a little bit using our track balls or color wheels. The diamond display lets you see if the image is warm in the blacks, here at the intersection of the diamond, here for highlights, or in the mid-tones across the middle of the diamonds. Images often have completely different casts in each tonal range. I can also use the RGB Parade waveform to set this initial balance, and it's very useful on the WFM 5200 to have two complementary displays or views side by side. This is very important to the way I work and the way many experienced colorists work. When finding my white and black point, I can call up Tektronix exclusive Luma Qualified Vector Scopes, which can show me just my whites and blacks, so I can dial them right into the middle. In the RGB Parade, Usually you can balance the R, G, and B channels so that they basically match. Note the matching positions at the bottom. But with this image, there's a lot of flesh tones, so the high mid-tones need to be at an angle about like what you see here with red dominant. So now we have a pretty good shot, but when we compare it to the shot we want to match to, the discrepancies are pretty obvious. Before I do my matching correction, I'm going to capture this image as my reference. On the WFM 5200 and on most Tektronix waveform monitors is a capture button. Pressing that button will cache or store that image in the scope. This is better than a still frame in your color correction software because the WFM 5200 can now overlay the live feed from your system on top of the captured still. No need for a switcher or special software or rapidly punching back and forth. You can simply see the captured image as a gold trace on the waveform display while the live display is layered on top of that as a green trace. On a side note, when you combine the gold trace with the green trace, the combined brightness can be a bit much, so you might want to create a preset for this where you lower the trace brightness. Then save that setup as a preset, name it, and you can call it up very quickly the next time you want to try this technique. Pretty cool. So with our captured reference image saved and our live image layered on top, matching the two images is pretty simple. I'm doing this with the advanced tab in the primary room of Apple Color, but you could also easily use individual color curves or any tool set that gives you control over the highlights, shadows, and midtones of each individual color channel. You just need to be able to find some shapes in the trace that you can match in each color channel. The trace here, around 400 to 500 millivolts, the mid-tones, are probably the flesh tones of the fingers. 
I'm lining up the green trace shapes with the gold trace shapes in each of the three color channels, trying to match that same flesh tone angle of higher red than green and higher green than blue color channels that is in my hero grade. Let's look at the two images. Pretty darn close. So contact a local Tektronics representative or distributor and give this a try. I think you'll be pretty impressed by the way this can transform your color correction process. Be sure to check out the online demo of the Tektronix WFM5200 and the rest of the videos on color correction on the Tektronix website.